I talked to him about an hour ago, George Klein. Oh, really? Yeah, he said, be sure to tell you hello. See, Scotty, Robert's got something to show you. Something I don't think you've seen in a long time. Oh, yeah, and I was going to get the darn serial numbers in my book. Yeah, you got your book by book with you, have you? Not with me. I've got it at the hotel. Really? Yeah. Oh. That's all needed. I think the serial number in it. That's what Kale said. Well, this yeah. is not what you think it is, I don't think. Oh, really? Okay. Surprise me about it. Yeah. Got it. I'd like for you to play your original L5 one more time. <laughs> That's the one I hated I ever got rid of. I see it still has Jack Eubanks molded in here, the volume and M on it where Jack had it. Yeah, he took it off to Alabama or something, right? Uh-huh. And I, bet, I would say, without even checking the serial number, this, this is it. Because Jack will don't know that part of it. Yeah. Well, Gail told me where uh, the guitar was, and the serial number is 18195. Write that down. Have yeah. you already got it open? Yeah. yeah. Sounds better with age. <laughs> <laughs> Wish I could say the same. Uh, the blonde uh, Super 400 uh, chips moment. Chips it's moment, got yeah. that. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, all the frets have popped out. And uh, I keep telling him Get the darn thing. He said, "No, no, it'll make the price go down." So not. No, they, they can do it without. They can fix without it. Absolutely. Well, Jack had the instrument uh, to '67, and then he sold it to a friend. I knew. I knew it, it went off to Alabama. That's what. When I was in the print shop, I asked you about this guitar, and then Jugale went in the back and got the old Nashville musician's phone book and gave me Jack's number. And then a year later, he called me back when I was living in New York City. And then I went on a long six-month trail to find it. <laughs> <laughs> and it was still in Alabama? Yeah. Alabama. Uh, now, the last 400 that the Sunburst still got, it's, uh, uh, it's down in uh, Hard Rock in uh, Dallas. And it got a big plaque underneath it. That was pressing the guitar. Oh, I know that's a big mess up. Everybody you knows it's yours. Two two ninety five right beside of it. It's, in, it's mine. Yeah, that's the one you saw, signed for us that day. We came over with the Gibson guys. That was just a little signer you did for the Hard Rock then. Uh, the two ninety five. Yeah, it was a new one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't favor. I don't favor going to get that. Uh, They've been working two years to do some of them. And they keep screwing it up. The first time they screwed up the paint job and then they screwed up the, the, the necks on 200 of them. <laughs> I'd yeah. like to have a couple of about 100 of them anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Every time I talk to them, oh, we're going to get back on it. And the, those are uh, flat wounds. Flat wounds, yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you using flat wounds now? No, I'm using the uh, uh, Dear Dario uh, half round. Half and half, yeah. Yeah, it's just they take just enough off of it to keep from squeaking. Mm -hmm. I always, I hate them guitar to squeak. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I don't know what about it, this guitar. Well, it's, it's better than I know. I got another L5 at home that I picked up is awful sweet too. It's uh, well, the neck size and this the, neck, the, the sound. Neck, the uh, neck is different. It's just it's a, just a, a different special, very yeah. special instrument. Mm -hmm. And then it's, it sounds good without an amp or with an amp. You can definitely tell yeah. it's going to sound good when you plug it in an amp. <laughs> and uh, this is the best one ever had. And uh, it was a case of, I don't know why I got rid of it. Bigger is better. Super 400 is a little bit bigger. It sure wasn't better, though. <laughs> no. See, you can hear the sound actually on the records, of course. You know, the, the sound of this is just so dynamic mm -hmm. and original sounding as opposed to the other ones. It's just really. Well, it took care of it. It's been taken care of, that's for sure. It made, uh, this, I guess this would be the guitar that changed the world. <laughs> <laughs> that's what everybody's saying, anyway. <laughs>
stop that sucker. <laughs> well, that's great. I'm glad to know where it's at. That's been puzzled. Well, it's going to be in the uh, Memphis Music uh, Museum that we're doing. We'll tell you more about when we get it further along. Uh, the 295, supposedly, uh, last I heard about it, it was in Branson, Jimmy Village, the place of it. Actually, a friend of mine in upstate New York has it. Has it now? Mm -hmm. I think you met him at Graceland a while back, and he showed it to you. No. You didn't? No. An Indian fellow mm -hmm. wears a lot of jewelry. I might have, I might have met him, but he didn't have the car with He did no. And I can't remember the guy's name here in Memphis that had it. It was a, a uh, hairdresser. He happened to be in OK Health when I traded that in on this, mm -hmm. on the L5. And That's 54. Uh, yeah, right, because, uh, uh, in fact, Mr. Train was the first song to play with this. I know it. You sure can <laughs> oh, hear the, it, the last, The last session yeah. we did on Sunday. And I just gotten that, the Ray Butts amp, too, with the, yeah. with the, with the slap back in. And, uh, but the, the guy came to Nashville and, uh, and brought the guitar up there, and it was busted. Uh, no, it wouldn't bust it down, take it back. He brought it up there and in a, in a authenticated it for him. And I've got a picture of it, just just a snapshot sitting on the couch where I took a couple pictures of it. And uh, in fact, the gold then started turning green on it then. Yeah. And, uh, then Jimmy brought it over there and explained the whole thing, and, and I signed it for him. Did you, you have you seen? You saw it? Was it busted? Yeah. Here? Okay, that's the one. But I don't think I've got the serial number on it. I don't believe everything else. I, I'm a pack rack. I keep all my paperwork on everything. Yep, me too. That's what the uh, Capricorn philosophy is. Yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was stubborn. Yeah, it is a little bit of that too. Yeah. Uh, it,